I decided to tone down the lighting just a little bit. And uh, the way that the, uh, well, this is the, this is the mic that I think went bad, the power device. And the only way you could get it to work was this little cable that came with the, um, I think it came with the phone or maybe a previous phone. And so we're gonna try out the purple, or the pen, the purple panda. We're gonna try out that mic and see if, I'm thinking it was the power device mic because it didn't work with the GoPro, but it did work, uh, or the Purple Panda did work with the GoPro, and so I've got my sound problem solved. And I know that, that I, luckily on the videos I figured out on the audio I can I can beef this up. So let's try it out. Let's see if if, if I can get the mic to work with the phone. There you go. All right, so this is a big problem with these Samsung phones. I didn't see the message come up using the external mic, so I don't think it's working. Um, but like I said, I'll turn the audio up in the video when I, uh, when I um, edit it. Uh, but I did want to talk about uh, tomorrow. Um, I ordered some more emergency food. Uh, you know, you can go to 4Patriots. Uh, they got a... Um, a stuff that they offer uh but you know what i i like to go camping i like to go backpacking so i buy the i buy the mountain house stuff you know um it's more expensive probably in the long run but i like it because it's in a pouch and you just add water and uh, it'll be really convenient on the trip for camping and so i made a, a another food purchase uh, probably about another week's worth of food for the trip and then uh the other thing that i got um was I noticed, uh, you know, because I'm getting old, man, I'm old, I'm an old fart. And uh, I, when I was at the campground, you know, the campsite at, at Cosby up in the Smoky Mountains was way up above. I mean, I had to keep going up and down like, you know, 10 stairs to get to the campsite. It was, you know, which was good. I like being a way of well above the car and everything. But I have this old dive bag that I used to use and I put all my clothes in there and it weighs a a gazillion pounds, you know, and um, and so I was gonna, I looked through the house and I had an old tennis bag that I got rid of and uh, and I thought, you know, it's time to get some luggage with, with, I mean, beefy wheels. You want the beefy wheels. Don't buy the cheap crap, you know. So I went to REI and uh, I, they have an REI actual bag, you know, it's their name brand. You know, it's just like going to, to Walmart and, and getting the great value stuff, you know. <laughs> Same thing, and so it was a hell of a bag, 34, 34 cubic inches or something. I'll show it to you in a, in a, in a future video. And so I thought that would be great for camping because now I can just pull that bag around on the wheels and, uh, and, and that way I don't have to just throw it up on my shoulder and carry it around everywhere. Um, so that's, uh, that's the next big purchase. So uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping i uh, got good weather tomorrow, so I'm going to go up to... Um, Gainesville, that's the nearest REI, because uh, it's cheaper if you just deliver it to the store. Plus, I knew that I wanted to hit that State Forest Campground there. Um, God, I can't remember the name of it. Well, whoop, I'll show you tomorrow, because that'll be on tacked onto this video. Uh, I'm sorry the external mic, it doesn't look like it's working with the phone, but at least we got it working with the GoPro, and uh, that's all we need for the trip. Peace out. So I wanted to get this moment on camera. We're there. Can you believe it? Today I got the uh, rain barrel uh, taken care of. Still a little more work to do on that. Uh, all the leaves are out. I've done the weed eating around the house. I've cleaned the gutters. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready. I've just put in my final load of laundry, <clears throat> you know, because you, uh, I don't need those clothes, but I don't want, you know, anything waiting for me when I get home from the uh, 10,000 mile journey. But this is it. This is the first tent going in. Uh, I know we never saw. I never thought I'd see this day. Uh, but I got to get serious about this. My wife informed me that, uh, and I forgot about it. I, she's going on a trip on the tenth uh, with her sister, and uh, so I got to be home to take care of the house uh, the tenth of November. So the the two month journey will probably turn into just a quick uh, trip up to Virginia. Uh, be with my mom for a couple of weeks and then come back and then get back on the road again 
um, because I do need to get up there and take care of some things. I, I got some ideas, you know, maybe she'll let me, um, do some things around the house that, uh, that I need to, I want to get done, but, uh, just, uh, real quick, uh, you know, I've got the, uh, boy, what, what good moves I made, huh? Not too long ago, I bought a new washer and dryer. That was about two years ago. Um, you know, cause I could see the writing on the wall, the, the refrigerator's a 2016, but like I said, the ice maker's not working, but I bought those ice trays and showed you that in another video. Um, you know, we got the bumper here all taken care of. I'll be putting the cooler in here. Um, well, not tonight, but uh, tomorrow. And uh, so the packing has begun, and this should proceed rapidly. I do have to go to Cabela's tomorrow, uh, uh, which is up in Gainesville, but I'm going to hit... Um, well, we, we, I changed plans. I was going to go to Sunny Hill and, and cut my way through that trail, but that's out. I got to get on the road, folks. So I'm going to go up, uh, pick up the, the, it's basically a suitcase on wheels. And I, I realized that, and I think I talked about this in a previous video, that I wanted a suitcase where I could roll it around in these uh, uh, parks. Because, um, you know, especially when you're in the National Forest campground, sometimes the campsite is a ways away from the road and, yeah, I can I can throw my suitcase over my shoulder, but now with a now that I've got multiple tents, uh, fully waterproofed, um, you know, I really want to just keep everything up on the campsite. So having a rolling suitcase, uh, it was expensive, um, but uh, REI had a really good uh, suitcase. Uh, it's, it's their name brand, REI. Uh, um, I'll show it to you tomorrow. Um, so that's when I guess I'll post this video because I'm going to get, and then uh, tomorrow. Um, because I'm up in Gainesville, why not? I mean, we're going to, it's going to be a beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful day. Uh, and this is what I've talked about in previous videos. So I always try to combine my day uh, into multiple things. So uh, I'll hit uh, Payne's Prairie uh, after I'm done picking, doing the pickup at Cabela's. Um, so then I'll have that suitcase. I got some extra um, food supplies. Uh, now, whether I use them on this trip or not, probably not, okay, but at least I'll have them for future trips or in the case of, uh, uh, well, we're already seeing a lot of inflation and, uh, you know, I'm even seeing the inflation in the mountain house stuff. I used to pick that stuff up for five or six bucks and I'm paying $10 now, you know, um, and I'm telling you, I like the mountain house. Uh, you, you get whatever name brand you want. Um, so I can't think of anything else to do. I mean, uh, the house I'm done with the house, you know, I've, I've, I've fixed the bidets and, uh, you know, hell, check it out. <clears throat> this is, uh, let's, let's get this on the video. This is the bay that broke. Okay. And I bought that glue and I glued this back on and look at that. That thing's on there solid, man. And I think that'll work just fine. So I'm keeping this as a spare. I'll just throw it up in the attic or whatever. And, you know, one of the things, uh, you know, just a quick item for you. Was when you have stuff like this and you want to keep it, you know, for, for the next time. See, like I got a over here, I've got an extra um, uh, shower uh, shower massage, and uh, you know, I'm not using it right now. But when the when the one breaks, I've got a spare, you know. So it, I know being a pack rat is is tough, man, and and we all have a limited amount of space. But you just got to maximize it. I mean, you know. I mean, look over here. I got these shelves and, and, and with foot lockers. And over the years, I just kind of, I throw away as much stuff as I can. I mean, you know, I, I like this right here. This is an old chess set that my dad bought me. And I have, I just haven't had the courage to part with it, but I, I need to get rid of it. And I got rid of the ladder, and, you know, and this is, this is a 20 below zero sleeping bag or 20 degree sleeping bag. And you know, it's pretty big. You can see that uh, now it does compact down to a much smaller size. Uh, and will I take that on this trip? I don't think so. Cause you know what? I don't want to camp in bitterly cold conditions, you know, and I still got my old karate stuff, you know, I don't know. Someday I might get back into karate and I really want to get back into racquetball. I can't wait till this trip, this trip and multiple trips in Lynchburg is all done with. And then, um, but you can also, I painted uh, the bidet. I had some white paint and I spray painted it. So it looks pretty doggone good. And uh, I'm pretty sure this will work. And there's the hot and water valves uh so we're we're getting there man and this is the two person set and i wanted you to witness me loading the car again there you go so now we got the cabela's bomb we got the two person tent 
I got an extra sleeping bag so that if it, if it does get cold, I can take the, uh, I got my, my sleeping bag's good to about 40 degrees, the one that, uh, that I've, be, I've already got it packed away. Uh, and then if I take this sleeping bag and I put it over that sleeping bag, that'll get me down to about 30, maybe 20 degrees. Uh, so if it does, if I do camp in some really cold weather, I'm prepared for it this time. Plus, last time the other sleeping bag got wet because this tent, I hadn't seam sealed it. And if you watch them videos, that tent is going to be dry. I guarantee it with all the work that I did on it, two, two days worth of work, uh, 16 hours, at least 16 hours, probably more when you consider I had to leave it out in the rain and everything. And uh, so we are we are good to go. So uh, the battery's fully charged in the pre... Of course, tomorrow I'll, I'll discharge the battery on my way to um, Gainesville. Um, so it burn a little bit of gas, uh, but everything's capped off. Motorcycle's capped off. Um, I'm going to pay the bills one last time and I got that load of laundry going and, uh, so we should be on the road. Uh, well, I'm, I got to call the campground, uh, on Monday, uh, not this, well, probably midweek. I'm, I'm hoping to be on the road by Wednesday. Peace out you guys. And, uh, let's do the mantra freedom, oh freedom, good to live in the Republican free state of Florida under the great direction of DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, go to California or New York. You'll be welcome there. We don't want you in Florida because we're free. You enjoy your lockdowns and you enjoy your, your COVID uh, shot mandates and you enjoy uh, those totalitarian leaders that you have. We don't want you here. Bye.